If you look at an African map, you'll notice that there isn't just one Congo. So why? Well, during the European scramble for Africa, European nations carved up the continent, and the resource-rich region was eventually taken over by two European countries. The French, and the King of Belgium. First as his personal property, then later as a Belgian colony. The two colonies were brutally exploited by the two European nations, but with other colonies gaining independence from their colonial overlords throughout the 1950s and 1960s in Africa, the pressure for independence was just too great to be ignored for the two nations. And so in 1960, the two Congos gained their independence. The two then found themselves at the opposite sides of the Cold War with foreign-backed dictators that had completely different ideas for their country's future before they both fell apart in the 90s. Either way, the two want to stay separate nowadays, despite speaking the same main language. Please subscribe for more content like this.